Utsuro, Yoshida Shoyo, two beings, one body, a representation of humanity. Utsuro is one of the most brilliant antagonists not only in Gintama, but anime as a whole. His duality with both Shoyo, his other side, and with Gintoki, the protagonist of the series, are both excellently written and are some of the best pieces of writing in all of Gintama. So in this video, I'll explore Utsuro, Shoyo, and their relationship with the silver samurai, Gintoki. If you find yourself entertained at any point during the video, then consider liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell. Also, my new book, Gang Fluid Justice, is now available on Amazon.com, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, on with the video. Utsuro, a being born with the ability to absorb Altana, a being who without a choice became immortal. That is what Utsuro is at his core, a person, a person who lived for far longer than any other, a person who witnessed the actions of humans more so than anyone should ever have to. He was prosecuted due to his power, he was tortured, killed, captured and so much more. To cope with this, to cope with the trauma, Utsuro developed split personalities. Some of these personalities killed others, partially in revenge for the prosecution he had suffered, but also to strive towards becoming a human, as humans torture, kill and capture. He then became the leader of the Naruko, leading them for 500 years and continuing to kill and make others suffer. However, Utsuro was not just one person, he wasn't one killer. No, he was multiple personalities. And in a way to fight back against the deeds of his murderous sides, he created another personality, one who was the dichotomy of killing and despair, one side that indulged not in the evils of humanity, but in the good, the kindness, the love. And this personality was Shoyo, arguably the kindest, most good-natured person in the entire series. And the reason he can be such a good person, such a contrast to the evils of his other personalities, is due to having witnessed the acts of his other personalities. Only by seeing the worst of humans, the deepest of despairs, could Shoyo come about, the complete opposite of all the evils of humanity, the purest and most caring of them all. Shoyo took Obro and started a new life. He became a teacher, a person who could teach children the way of the sword and the way of good nature. He would reduce human despair as much as he could. If he could save even one child, that was enough. However, he was betrayed. He was betrayed by Obro, his first student. However, Shoyo didn't hate Obro for this. He merely accepted it. He had lived a good life, a life more good than he thought he deserved. So when he was taken away, with his students crying behind him, he could only be thankful. He was thankful to have met them. Utsuro, as we see him in the series, hates humanity. He wants them to despair, to suffer, to prove to him that everyone will turn to violence and despair, to prove that he wasn't wrong to do so himself. He hates humans, however, Shoyo thanked them. They are duality personified. When Gintoki chose to kill his master over his fellow students, he not only kept Shoyo's ideals in his heart to protect your comrades, but also tried to save Utsuro. Utsuro killed off all his other personalities at that moment of death. He ended their suffering. He made it so that only he, the lone personality, would shoulder the burden of despair. It was selfless in a way, spare the others from suffering and take it all onto yourself. But as shown through Gintama, one man, no, one person can not shoulder everything. Without friends to shoulder alongside you, you, an individual, can't do it. Utsuro took all the suffering onto himself to spare his other personalities from further suffering, but all that did was cause him to suffer more. Before, he had some good to him, some bad, but now... He is just hollow, devoid of that sliver of goodness Shoyo provided, he was now just Utsuro. Utsuro is fundamentally a nihilist, he has seen the worst of humanity, he wants to end his own suffering to die, but he is immortal, he cannot. His final plan is to start a galaxy wide war to erupt all the Atlanta and to destroy Earth. If Earth vanishes, so will he, he will finally die. But he doesn't just want to die, he also wants to prove something, to prove that with enough despair, all humans would do what he did, that despair will twist anyone, that the good things don't justify the bad. He wants to justify his own actions to himself by proving everyone is a monster, and that Shoyo was just one good soul among hundreds of monsters. He represents the literal darkest aspects of humanity, of violence, suffering, despair, prosecution, of giving up hope, of thinking yourself as pointless. And that is why he is such an amazing antagonist for Gintama, as what is Gintama? It's a story about humanity, about life, about the good and the bad, the light and the dark, as there is no light without the dark. And undoubtedly, no character embodies this more than Sakata Gintoki. Gintoki has suffered more so than most. His life has been one wild ride, from the happiest of times to the darkest of despairs. He has seen friends die, he had to kill his master with his own hands, make the toughest choice anyone could ever make. But he also has friends, he also helps others, he also gets up to funny hijinks. Gintoki has experienced despair, but he has not given up. That despair only reinforced his resolve, his belief in his own ideals, in the good of humanity. 
Gintoki appreciates the good times, his friends and connections as he has witnessed his friends die. He can understand what it's like to not have friends, so cherishes the ones he has now. Both Utsuro and Gintoki have witnessed despair and the evils of humanity, but both reacted differently. Utsuro realised that all humans are rotten, that life has no meaning, no matter how light it is, dark will always return. And Gintoki realised how important the good times are when compared to the bad times. The former had accepted that no matter what, the dark times will always return, and the latter understood that no matter how dark it gets, light will always return. Utsuro killed off all his other personalities in an act of mercy, but that was wrong. Even Gintoki, the strongest of us all, couldn't shelter the entire burden himself. Killing his master almost brought him to the same nihilistic level of Utsuro, much like Utsuro, he just wanted to die. And then he met Otose. He made a friend, two shoulders is all it takes to shoulder a burden, with friends by your side you can overcome anything. Gintoki had his friends and Utsuro was all alone. He was empty, he was hollow. Gintoki is a character not faced by death, it is as natural to him as eating breakfast. It is just a part of his day. But that's only his own life. Gintoki will do anything to protect those he cares for and has no issue of dying for them. In each of his fights, he is not fighting his opponent, he is fighting himself. He isn't shaken by battle or by death as he knows himself too well. He is fighting himself, a foe he has known all his life. But that all changed with Utsuro. Gintoki was shaken. Utsuro was just like him, someone who had suffered and this scared Gintoki. He had been fighting himself all this time, but now he had to fight someone who was scarily similar to himself. If he lost to Utsuro, then in a way, he would be proving that his way of living, his love for the good times, is weaker than the power of despair. He must fight to show that Utsuro was wrong, to show that humans can do more than despair, to prove that Shoyo wasn't wrong, that he wasn't an abnormality. He was the good inside Utsuro, the good inside everyone. Utsuro is the opposite of Gintoki, he accepts the dark times without fighting for the light, he wants to make people suffer rather than to help them live and enjoy life. He actively tries to kill Kagura, Shinpachi and Sadahara. He wants to destroy those things that give Gintoki hope, he wants to destroy the Yoyorosa, he wants to take away the difference between them. To make Gintoki despair just like him, to show that even Gintoki, the best of us all, could end up lost in despair. When faced with Utsuro, Shoyo's three disciples each had different views and different interpretations. Katsura had made peace with the death of his master and saw Utsuro as nothing more than the enemy, a new entity to be defeated. Takasaki blamed Utsuro for the death of his master, he directed feelings of anger and revenge at him, and Gintoki saw Utsuro for what he really was, a manifestation of human despair as a man who had suffered even more than himself. In a way, he could understand and empathise with Utsuro. He had to stop him to prove that his ideals, the ideals of Shoyo, his master, were right. To show care and love, the light can always conquer darkness and despair, no matter how many times it returns. Utsuro is empty, he is hollow, and for that reason it's only fitting that his name literally means empty. Even Bato, a character who can see one's soul, one's true self with his third eye, couldn't see anything in Utsuro, as he is hollow, a monster with no semblance of human goodness. At the end of the Silver Soul arc, Utsuro throws himself into the ley lines. He wouldn't let Gintoki defeat him, he wouldn't let his views of nihilism be defeated. It may have seemed like he was giving up, but that was far from it. He had faith in his beliefs that humans would turn to despair. And well, they did. Even after his death, he returns, and with it comes the darkness once again. But Gintoki is here to stop him, no matter how many times he comes back. He is the personification of the goodness of the human race. That no matter how much you suffer, you don't have to despair. That light could be around the next corner. Gintoki holds Shoyo's ideals, he keeps him alive even after his death, and as such, it is his duty to stop Utsuro, to be the light to his darkness, to be the one that proves light can prevail, and that existence isn't futile. To prove humans can be good, to prove we are not monsters, that we are defined by our suffering, that we can grow as people and always strive towards the light, no matter how dark things may seem. If Gintoki had given in to rage, become a monster like Utsuro, become defined by suffering, he wouldn't have been able to defeat Utsuro, but because he fought through the struggles, because he remained human, because he used his love, his kindness, his trust to push forward his blade, he was able to win and finally put Utsuro to rest. Gintoki is the light, Utsuro is the dark, both are part of humanity, both are part of life. Light and darkness will always exist, they will always fight it out. There cannot be dark without light, but there also cannot be light without the dark. No matter how much you suffer, how much you despair, there will always be a shoyo inside you, a sliver of hope. Utsuro lost hope in humanity and wanted to prove that everyone would do what he did if they despaired enough. And Gintoki proved to him that that wasn't true. The humans are defined by their ability to grow, to overcome issues. Utsuro is such the trials we as humans must overcome. And what is Gintama all about? Well, undoubtedly it's about humans 
about overcoming issues and growing as people. Overcoming your dark side and embracing your light. Arigato. Comment of the week comes from the Heavenly Weeb, and I definitely agree. In terms of growth and character development, I don't think any character is as stellar as Vegeta. Also, congrats on 100 subs, my friend. I wish you all the best of luck with future channel growth. If you have any opinions on Utsuro or Gintama as a whole, then tell me in the comment section down below. And if you have a suggestion for a future video, then again, the comment section is funny enough down below. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at SethTheSin for channel updates and just general chatter. And my DMs are always open if you want to chat to me directly. Or check out my Instagram at SethTheSin underscore cosplay to see my cosplays are random and the main merchandise. Also, as I said before, my new book Gang Fluid Justice is now out, so make sure to check it out. So with all that said and done, I have been Seth the Sin, the Deadly Sin of Geek, and I am signing out. Stay safe, everyone.